So what stands out for me about Suffolk is that we are a value-based organisation and there are some values that we hold very dear. The first one is respect, respect for both our, the people that we're there to serve, but also the respect for the, each other about how we work together. Another one is about how we work in partnership. So we're an organisation that understands that you can't really understand, that you can't do this on your own and that any organisation can't create the change that we need to see for the possibility in the future for the people of Suffolk on our own. Um, and partnership to us means that in order to truly work in partnership you need to be able to listen well and you need to be able to understand before you take action. But that also permeates our practice, so our practice of it being really important to listen to families and listen to children is a really important value that underpins what we do. I think you can expect to work very well with partners, we've got very good partner relationships here. You can expect to have a good early help offer, so we've got a lot of family support practitioners, uh, we actually directly have the health visitors and school nurses, so that kind of working around the family with the team around the family is a pretty advanced stage in Suffolk. The practice model of signs of safety, um, we brought that in in February last year. We're working with many other authorities across the country. Terry Murphy, who's one of the international architects of signs of safety, says that Suffolk is implementing it faster and deeper than anywhere else. We have more practice leads than anywhere else in the country. It's just as important to support as it is to challenge. People progress and they they do better when there's enough challenge as much as enough support. What we're trying to do and what I think is special about here is that we're trying to help the whole of our workforce, not just our social workforce but all of our workforce across our partners, focus on what is it that this family needs to change and or this child needs to change and how can we help them do that, not what service does this child need or where do they fit into our current systems and that's a journey for us but that's really important and you can't do that without listening to what people need. So I think working in a profession that actually helps those families overcome those struggles, learn tools to be better able to manage things and achieve better outcomes for themselves and for their children, I think that's a very honourable profession to be in and one I'm proud to be in.